Wild, Wonderful West Virginia is a well-known slogan used to promote tourism and commerce. And while wild and wonderful are adjectives that aptly describe the physical beauty of West Virginia's terrain, flora, and fauna, they certainly also apply to its most abundant and precious natural resource, our people. West Virginia is indeed an amazing place, full of amazing people. But not everybody knows that, and oftentimes the false images portrayed in media and popular culture create a less than favorable impression of the Mountain State and her citizens. But one West Virginian in particular has shown the nation and the world another side of our beloved state. He's shown them the real West Virginia. A major musical success story from Logan County in the southern West Virginia mountains, he's a big band vocalist whose contemporary take on the standards of Frank Sinatra, Cole Porter, Dean Martin, and others has brought him and our little corner of the world international acclaim. That's right, a sharp-dressed, smooth-voiced crooner with dreadlocks. And the story gets even better. Born into poverty and suffering a difficult childhood, he eventually found himself homeless, sleeping in his car for shelter. But he would not give up. And no matter how bad off he was personally, he would not turn a blind eye to his friends and neighbors in need. In West By God, Virginia, we take care of our own barely scraping by himself. This kind-hearted car washer volunteered to sing for local charity events for nearly a decade before opportunity finally came knocking in the form of a national competition on NBC's America's Got Talent. And soon, this proud son of West Virginia, this shy, smiling entertainer who looks like Bob Marley and jokes like Eddie Murphy, was stunning judges Piers Morgan Sharon Osbourne and Howie Mandel by singing like Sinatra on steroids. The record shows I took the blows and did it He won the televised talent competition by the biggest margin in the show's history, stealing the hearts of the judges and over 14 million weekly viewers in the process. Since then, his first CD, released by Columbia Records and produced by Grammy winner Steve Tyrell, debuted at number one on the charts. He's traveled the country and the world, selling out venues wherever he goes, from Caesars Palace in Las Vegas to the Apollo Theater in New York, from Shanghai, China, to Veterans Day shows in Europe for our men and women in uniform. Yes, you can take the man out of West Virginia, but you cannot take West Virginia out of the man. A book he wrote about his amazing journey spent the Christmas holidays atop the Amazon book charts, and his holiday CD, Christmas Made for Two, was a major fundraiser for the Children's Home Society right here in West Virginia. He is indeed all about wild, wonderful West Virginia. His touring musicians are from here. His manager is from here. He produced and recorded his Christmas CD right here, and he's traveled extensively through the towns and cities of our great state, holding fundraising concerts and raising over $1 million for deserving organizations. I'm Landau Eugene Murphy Jr., winner of America's Got Talent. Some call me a hometown hero. These kids are real heroes. They fight a daily battle, childhood cancer. I ask you for your help by donating to Walker Miracles and Emma's Touch. Two West Virginia nonprofits. Best of all, he continues to make his home right here, less than three miles from where he was born in Logan County. And tomorrow, at the request of the State Director of Tourism, he'll once again be representing and promoting our beloved home at the Travel South USA meetings in front of hundreds of travel and tourism officials from 12 southern states. He truly is an ambassador for West Virginia, from washing cars to Hollywood star, an inspiration to us all.